Hi, I'm Nasimi, and today I want to talk to you about your operating agreement. Yes, an operating agreement is that's exactly what it sounds like. It's an agreement between you and the members of your LLC that explains how it's going to be managed. Don't worry, don't get intimidated. You can do this too. But first I wanna state this. I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving you legal advice. I'm just telling you what I did, okay? Okay, don't don't tell anyone, um, not sitting here told you to do X, Y, Z. I'm just telling you what I did, okay? The operating agreement explains both how it will be managed financially and operational for LLC. So that's why it's important. And the, oper- the operating agreement doesn't go to the state. It doesn't get notarized. You keep it with your other business documents in a file cabinet. Locked away. You say, I don't know. Wherever you keep your other business documents, you need to have that on hand, okay? It explains who the members are and what their percentage of ownership is. Very important. Who the members are and what their percentage of ownership is. Also known as the membership interest. It's also known as the membership. It explains how the LLC is going to be managed how taxes are paid, how members incur profits and losses. So that is why it's important. It's a very specific document. I'm going to show you the first page of some sample templates. One, then I'm going to give you three websites. They're free and you can just download the PDF and fill it out and then file it away. Sounds good? Sounds good. Okay. It's a working document. So it's meant to be fluid. You can change things, simple things. Um, Phone numbers of members, um, updating the business address, things of that nature. However, if it gets complicated and there's a lot more things you need to change or there's not agreements, you need to get an attorney. Okay, don't do it yourself. Get an attorney at that point. This is a simple document. Remember, There are single member LLCs and multiple member LLCs. Single member, okay. Multiple member, two or more. Two or more is a multiple member LLC, okay? Who needs this document? Who may need this document? You ask yourself. Financial institutions, lenders, right? Title companies, if you're going to purchase land or get loans for land, realtors, Count it for your taxes, payroll, lawyers, in case you need a lawyer, mm-hmm. investors, you want to show them how this works, how this, this thing is put together, you need to show this to investors, courts, finally courts may need the document, because it's important to keep your LLC separate from your personal accounts. Remember, that's why we talked about getting our own business account before, not getting money put in our own personal account, keeping them separate legally. Okay? So remember that part. That's very important. Once again, it doesn't need to be notarized. So what papers do we need to create our operating agreement? You need your LLC formation docs. Mm. Formation date goes on there. The name and date of the registered office, and remember your agent, they go on there. Uh, The purpose of the LLC, the business purpose of it, the members, and also their percentages of ownership go on that document, the operating agreement. So the three places I found are eForms.com, RocketLawyer.com, and LegalContracts.com. My preferred site was the eForms.com. You just need to type in LLC operating agreement when you go there. And it'll give you the option for a single member or multiple member LLC operating agreement. 
you follow directions and you type it in and then you print it out and you're off. If it's a PDF, simply print it out, fill it in and file it that way. Or you could scan it if you technologically savvy. You could scan it, fill it in electronically, print it out. Okay? You're free. I hope this is helpful to you. I hope this video is helpful. Let me know what else you need to know. I will try to come back with another video um, on a different aspect of this LLC because there's so many parts. People make entire, entire YouTube channels for LLCs alone. So I'll think about what else you might need and I'll try to address some things I came up against, okay? So I hope this is helpful to you. Let me know. I'm gonna have some pictures at the end so you can see what the document looks like. Down in the comment section, I'll have the email addresses for these companies with the templates, okay? And I did in the last video answer and put in the site you can look at to see that you don't have to pay the $800 taxes for the next three years. I did do that, okay? And someone else asked me about how long is the state of California taking to approve their LLC. I would say between five to 10 business days. I got mine pretty quick. And it, it could be the time of year or how many people are applying because it was January. So it's February. Uh, hopefully you can get in there and mail it in. Don't forget to get that EIN tax number. Remember your business account. If you have employees, you need to go contact that franchise tax board as well. Remember that? Also, we'll talk next time about city. The city. The city may require some things of you as well. Okay? Thanks for coming. And as always, God bless you.